Esther, friends, and I must not forget UCW, I think. Am I right? No. Mm -hmm. For that splendid meal. My, I've got to be honest and tell you I'm not a bit hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and you get what you look like. There's not much I can say after listening to our children, but I am glad that uh, my cousin Lester and Irene could make it from Tennessee. I was there last year. And he didn't feel all that good, and he said, Guy, I won't be able to make your celebration. <laughs> well, I said, if you don't come with the card in your hand, I said, don't send a card. Well, he said, I might have to. Well, I said, no. So anyway, I was in touch with him, and he said, boy, I'm not going to make it. <clears throat> Yesterday morning? This isn't a better half, but another half. Just another half. Another morning, just I stepped outside of my son's door. I looked out across the parking lot, there was the two of them up by the car. I, I, I didn't know what to say, I didn't know. But then again, there's my Aunt Almer is there, she got here from Maine, and uh, she's only 85. <laughs> so we were there last year, and we happened to say to her. So we send her an invitation, and she's here, and we're really pleased that you're here to be a part of us this evening. And then there's my sister Hazel from Montreal. You, you can tell I'm the youngest of the family. Well, I mean, I'm the family. I'll get you for that. <laughs> and what I mean is things like this that make celebrations like, like this so meaningful and so good. And then there's my sister Lizzie and her husband Len from Vancouver. We're so glad to have you. And we waited for you. And you know, friends, after listening to my family tonight, our family? Yeah, I better say that. <laughs> you know, we got a lot to thank God for. Friends, I want to tell you, it wasn't all hot sunshine days. It was times when, only for ministers like you, sir, maybe we wouldn't celebrate this today. But <clears throat> I like to, Big John Hall said, I'm sure you all read his stories. He said, through it all, I learned to trust my Jesus more. And you know, friends, this is what we learned. And I'm not going to detain you any longer, <clears throat> but I'm so glad. And friends, I would say I feel he's about the happiest man as in Edmonton this evening. And I don't mean to say that the people in Edmonton haven't got so good a family as I got. I don't mean that, friends. I don't want for anyone to think that. But after 50 years, you could get together and listen to your sons. Some of them tried to tell me there was times I almost went wrong. And there was times they took gas and put it where it shouldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> and all of this. And I know another fellow, I think he broke off his axe handle in the woods, and I'm wondering, was it an accident at all? <laughs> so, between it all, you know, friends, it's nice now to remember it and laugh about it. So, I suppose, you know, I got to tell a joke. <clears throat> and as I look around, I'm sure the, the, the teenagers, they can accept the joke. They got to. And I want for the seniors to laugh at it. <coughs> because uh, it was an old couple, and they were getting up to the 50th anniversary, something like us, huh? <laughs> and they were sitting on the Chesterfield this night, <coughs> and he said to her, he said, honey, how is it, he said, you don't uh, love me now when we're looking at those stories? How you don't put your arm around me? Sometimes you put your arm around me, you never let my ears. He said, all of this, he said, is gone. He said, what happened? So when she said that, he let her go, and he jumped up, and he was taken off of the cross floor. And she said, John, he stopped, he said, yeah. She said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to have to get my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I got to finish that story. The next day, 
was a celebration such as this. And he got up to say a few words, and he rambled on with a few words, and he said, for, and he said, uh, we've been together for 50 years, and I tried her, he said, and she was tried and true. Now, she was a bit hard of hearing, and uh, she, she looked up at, she said, uh, what'd you say? He says, I said you were tried and true. Yes, she said, and I'm tired of you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>